Are the LM page profitable? Hi everybody, I'm Small Amor, and today I'm going to answer that question in this video. With the cost of, of the Olympics constantly increasing, it is undoubtable that they are too expensive. The Olympics of Sochi in 2014 are the most expensive ones to date, costing an insane amount of $51 billion, while the most expensive Summer Olympics took place in Rio in, Rio in 2016, and they cost an enormous amount of $20 billion. As shown on this graphic, the problem, the problem comes from the fact that the host cities end up spending an amount that exceeds excessively the initial budget planned for the Games. We can see that the Olympics in Sochi were initially estimated to cost an amount of $10 billion, and they ended up costing over $50 billion. If we look at the Summer Olympics of 2008 in Beijing, we can see that they were initially estimated to cost an amount of $20 billion, but they ended up costing over $45 billion. But why do they end up costing so much? To be awarded the host of the Olympics, the city must have the most extravagant and the most impressive project. The cities are forced to promise too much, and when they do win, they are not conscious of the impact of those promises, placing themselves in a very vulnerable, vulnerable state, such as Rio and Brazil. Tokyo is also a great example. Just to place a bid at the International Committee of Olympics, they encountered costs of $150 million. This amount coming from the fees required for consulting different professionals such as engineers, architects, and economists, all that just to lose their bid. They spent an insane amount of money just to participate in the selection process and they were not even selected. So we can imagine that for the cities that are chosen, the cost can increase quickly just by this initial selection process. The competition to be chosen forces, uh, forces them to exceed their budget. Consequently, to those very high costs, most of the host cities are constrained to resort on unaffordable debt to fund the infrastructure development. Unfortunately, most of the Olympics didn't have returns sufficient to justify those expenses. And yes, I'm talking about expenses because most of the Olympics were not a smart investment. If we, if we look at the re uh, revenue coming from television, the London Olympics made $2.6 billion in return, although the Games cost them an amount of $18 billion. To understand the matter of those insufficient revenues, we must know what the revenue for the Olympics are. If we look at this graphic, we can see that the main source is obviously the television. During the period preceding the Olympics and the Olympics of London, from 2009 to 2012, the television revenues added up to $3.85 billion. What is outrageous is that the main source of revenue for the host city is cut in half by the committee. Yes, the International Committee of Olympics keeps more than half of the re those revenues, which leaves the host city with a very few other sources of revenue. Sponsorship during the uh, uh, Games of London represented barely $2.5 billion, and the ticket sales just over $1 billion. The London Games grossed just over $6 billion, while it cost $18 billion. To conclude, the Olympics are not profitable because the fees required to place a bid on being in a, a host city, building the infrastructure, and all the other numerous costs are excess, excessively higher than the revenues. The, com the committee now facing difficulties with countries being reluctant from hosting the Olympics must absolute, absolutely change the way they design the host and find ways to reduce costs. So everybody, thank you for uh, watching my video and have a great day.